This I wanna nail sports to the bone Top vlog at top YouTube channel No matter which sports here we got it covered Subscribe and hit the notification bell A blessed day to you all my viewers and subscribers Welcome back, welcome back to the channel Alright my peeps, so today is the day West Indies, they are actually uh, playing in their final warm-up game before they start their quest of World Cup qualification. But we're going to shift focus a little bit from uh, the team. Going to be talking about Gale, Russell and Brathwaite. These guys are set to suit up for a T20 franchise in the summer. So I'm going to give you some info on that. Plus we're also going to be talking about um, Jamaican Sprint King Usain St. Leo Bolt. There is a statue that will be unveiled in the United States of America of the Sprinter. So go and give you some info on that. So just give a listening ear until the end. And make sure you hit that subscribe button to become a part of the family. Alright, so the first story here with Chris Gale, Andrea Russell and Carlos Brathwaite. I am taking this one from Sports Max. And the headline says, Gail Russell Brathwaite to suit up for Global T20 Canada franchise this summer. So the article starts and it says, Andre Russell and Chris Gale are among some of the marquee players drafted for the 2023 edition of the Global T20 uh, Canada that returns after an absence of four years. So an absence of four years, my peeps, and they have announced a couple of marquee players. Uh, the greatest to have played the T20 game, Chris Gale, alongside um, well sought after all-rounder Andre Russell, Brathwaite, and a few others. So the article goes on, it says, Pre previously held in 2018 and 2019, the third edition of the league will bowl off on July 20 and conclude on August 6 in Ontario, after a four-year hiatus. They say Russell has signed to play for Montreal Tigers and will play alongside Shakib Alassane, Shefane Rutherford and Carlos Brathwaite as well as Zahir Khan. They went on to say Gale, meanwhile, will suit up for um, a different team. So Gale will suit up for the Panthers where his power hitting skills will be complemented by the likes of Shoid Malik, James Nisham, and Cameron Delport. So they say the other teams in the Global T20 Canada are the Surrey Tigers, the Brampton Wolves, Vancouver Knights, and the Toronto, um, na uh, the Toronto uh, Nationals. So, are uh, the Toronto Nationals. So that is what they are saying, my viewers and subscribers. So... If you miss the lights of Chris Gale and Russell and Malik and all of them guys, you will be able to take them in as they take part in the global T20 um, cricket over there in Canada. Don't know, don't know how, how many other West Indians will be in. Just got to wait a little bit to see the entire draft um, for our, 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 the, our the squad for the teams. And then I'll be able to give some info on that. But just to let you know, uh, Gail, Brathwaite and Russell alongside Rutherford, they have already been confirmed. So that is um, something to look forward to. All right, uh, moving on, skipping over to some track and field. And I am going to be talking about the great Usain Bolt. Taking this one from Sportsmax also, the headline says the city of Miramar is set to unveil Bolt's statue, right? So they're saying they're going to be um, unveiling a statue of Usain Bolt at the Asin Sports Complex on the 15th of July. So the article says a date has been set for the unveiling of a statue of the world's fastest man in Miramar, Florida, according to um, what Sportsmax is saying. Um, so, you know, it's, it's, it's really good. It's good. Um, the vice mayor um, of that area is saying, and I quote, we have, uh, we have a date for the unveiling confirmed, right? So we have a date of the unveiling confirmed and there's going to be a press conference with the unveiling, end quote. 
So there you have it, my viewers and subscribers. Usain Bolt um, continues to get his flowers while he is alive. It is just really tough to see that, um, you know, we have other people, people outside of Jamaica celebrating and showing support for Bolt and, you know, back home. All they can do is to thief and to exploit the man. You know, for those who are not um, up to date with what is happening with Usain Bolt, a couple months ago, you know, he lost over 12 million US dollars. That is over 2 billion Jamaican dollars due to some fraudster out there in Jamaica. A big scheme, you know, a, a, the company that he invested some of his money in, they, they, they decided that it was, it was a good idea to, to, to rob the man blind. And to date, nothing has come out of it. You understand? So we see people all over the world celebrating Usain Bolt. And, you know, the only thing the country has to offer is to um, rob him, rob the man blind. And it so happens that it seems as if they are going to get away with it because, you know, um, people, people have people, people have their friends in high places. But, you know, just want to say a shout out to the great man uh, Usain Bolt for um having represented us uh well and um you know it's 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 always good when you get your flowers while you are alive so that is the little bit of story i wanted to pass on um where you saying bolt is concerned so i'm just gonna finish off with this football story here now Lionel messi was interviewed and he was asked about winning the ballon d'or and this is what messi had to say he was asked whether or not, you know, he's still worried about winning the Ballon d'Or or he wants to win it. So this is Messi and I quote, No, it's no longer important to me. I have always said the individual prizes are not what matters to me, but the collective ones are the most important, end quote. So that is Lionel Messi and, you know, he can say that because he have completed football in the sense that he you know he finally won the the the, the world cup um he has won the most ballon d'or i think one or two two more than cristiano ronaldo um won the champions league la liga title and club world cup all of them things and has now moved to the mls so you can imagine that you know he's no longer worried about all those accolades um he was also he also went on to say that you know it's highly unlikely that he's going to be at the next um, World Cup. So, you know, the captain, Lionel Messi, won it with Argentina. And based on what he's saying, it's highly unlikely that he will be a part of the team that will be defending it. So, just one of them things that my viewers and subscribers, the greatest, based on what some people think to have played the game, has decided to basically draw back a little bit. So, that is it. Going to leave it right here for now. And just to let you know, later on today, after the game, we are going to be live to talk some cricket. Because